What up book lovers? It is She Swizz here and I'm here today with a never special edition unboxing and this one I'm really excited for. Well, you probably will not have noticed because, yeah, I pre-film a lot of my content, but I've been waiting to unbox these special editions for a while, and I'm just really buzzed about these ones specifically. I've got two standalone Fairy Loot special editions, I have an Illumicrate set, and I also have a Fey Crate set in this unboxing today. Usually, I have no self-control when it comes to my Fey Crate sets, but in this case, I actually wanted to get my first response for this specific set on camera because this series is one of my favorite series series at the moment so far. And I say so far because I've only read the first two books in the series and it is a nine book series and not all nine books are out at the moment. But yeah, I'm looking forward to continue. I cannot wait. But I'm going to save that one till last. I'm going to start off with my Fairy Loot editions and I'll move on to my Illumicrate special edition set and then we'll move on to Fake Crate. I guess without further ado, let's get straight into this unboxing. And I'm going to start off with this Fairy Loot book. I think I know which one this one is. Okay. Oh, <laughs> Actually, a, a surprise. I actually thought that this was um, another one that I'm going to unbox, but this is a pleasant surprise. Okay, so sometimes my fairy loot books and sets get lost in transit. In recent times, I've been frustrated with fairy loot because there's this unspoken 30-day rule where if it's lost for 30 days in transit and you find out about it sometime later, they will not offer you a replacement. And this has happened to me a few times. It's happened with my Fall of Ruin and Wrath book, and unfortunately, I did not receive a refund for that, I'm still really bitter about it. I'm still really angry about it, okay? You can tell that even though I enjoy unboxing Fairy Loot Special Editions, I do have my salty days with them because I remember the fact that I paid for a copy of Fall of Ruin and Wrath and I found out that it got lost too late. I'm really bitter about that, but I mean, I'll move on. But in this situation, they actually did not send me a tracking number. And I found out that this special edition was also lost in transit or like not dispatched the same day I found out about the Fall of Ruin and Wrath. Unfortunately, with Fall of Ruin and Wrath, they did not offer me a replacement. But with this one, because it was their fault they didn't send me a tracking number, they did send me a replacement for this one. So, fairy loot. In this case, I'm happy, but I mean, I'm still very bitter about Fall of Ruin and Wrath. And if you could not tell from the bubble wrap, this is Throne of the Fallen by Carrie Maniscalco, the Fairy Loot Special Edition. And I am so happy they sent me a replacement of this because it is gorgeous. I would have been so devastated to miss out on this special edition. It's just beautiful. It's magnificent. Look at the colors. These are some of my favorite colors. I really love the green. I really love the pinks. I love the combination. And I really love the cover overall. And I love Fairy Fairy Loot's take on this cover. This has a digital signature from Carrie Maniscalco. Really cool end page art. Oh, I love this naked hardback as well. This naked hardback is giving. It's giving a lot of foil. And then we've got some beautiful reverse dust jacket art. I still have not yet read this book, so I don't know these characters, but they look stunning. This is a very beautiful special edition. I'm glad overall that Fairy Loot did give me a replacement for this book, and they were willing to take ownership of the fact that this one did either get lost in transit or they just didn't send it initially. And the second and final Fairy Loot Special Edition I've got to unbox is in this box right here. I'm just gonna lift this up. It's really chunky. And yes, I've been expecting this one for quite some time. I'm loving that rose gold. If you guys cannot tell what this book is from the bubble wrap. Oh, wow, it is chunky. It is Iron Flame by Rebecca Yaros. Now, I need to check if, okay, <laughs> sorry. I've actually kept the special edition box in my apartment for around a month now because I wanted to unbox this on camera with a bunch of special <laughs> editions. And I did not check to see if like everything was okay because I know that Fairy Loot has that 30 day policy now. It's just a really stupid policy, but I mean, I guess it makes sense to some capacity. It would make more sense if they did advertise it more, if they did say within the 30 day window, make sure you check your product or make sure you check that the product is either on its way to you or if it might've gotten lost in transit, stuff like that. So now I'm just really paranoid when it comes to my Fairy Loot special editions, I swear. And it's all thanks to the whole Fall of Ruin and Wrath situation. I just needed to check and see if the foiling was okay and I needed to see if this was printed okay and I think this is printed okay. I think everything is printed okay. I mean it has like a little scratch here on the dust jacket but I'm not going to use this dust jacket. I am definitely going to be using this reversible dust jacket because this reverse dust jacket is pretty. Oh yes I love this illustration. I love these dragons and I love this foiling on this hardback. It is so pretty. These pages are gorgeous as well and I don't think this one is signed. I don't think the first one is signed at all. No actually 
I do have a signed copy. I have a signed copy, yes. I did receive a signed copy. It's been a while since the sale, so that's why I probably forgot. I'm really happy I received this because it's a special edition book. It arrived safely, and that's what counts for me. I don't love Iron Flame as a book, but I am happy to have this book in my collection, and I am looking forward to the rest of the series. I'm just hoping that the rest of the series is even more epic than Iron Flame and even Fourth Wing. Like, I love the first book, Fourth Wing. I'm just hoping that it picks up from Iron Flame. You know? And now we move on to the special edition Illumicrate set that I have to unbox today. I cannot wait for this one. I've been looking forward to unboxing these books for quite some time. Oh, this is exciting. Yes! Oh! Okay, I was not expecting Fairy Loot to do a special edition set of this set, but I'm really happy that they did, and I love their take on the set. Okay, let me show you these books. So the first book that I have in the set is Silver Under Nightfall by Rin Chapeco. And if you guys don't know, Rin Chapeco is the author of the Bone Witch series, a series that I really loved back in the day. I mean, I read that series like, I don't know, two years ago now. And Silver Under Nightfall, I read sometime last year or the year before, I'm trying to remember, and I enjoyed it. I think I want to reread this one though because I was not prepared for the narrative style of the story but I think now that I know what to expect from the narrative style of the series I might just want to reread it and see if I gain more out of the next reading experience. This cover is so gorgeous. I'm loving all the gothic vibes it's giving. I love this purple. These pages right here they're perfectly aligned. Like pages like this are so easy to get wrong. There are so many great book box companies out there, who I love by the way, but sometimes they fail with pages like this. I usually get really worried when I see, I don't know, castles or something that's a little bit more intricate on the pages. A good example of this would be the Plated Prisoner set from Fairy Loot. I unfortunately really don't like the cages on those edges. And then sometimes people put maps on the edges. I get nervous with those personally. <laughs> I don't know, when there's a very intricate design at times, I am scared that it's gonna turn out terrible. But Illumicrate did not fail here. I also feel as if Illumicrate have great quality control because, I mean, this is perfect. <laughs> Unless, of course, someone received a set and their pages were not aligned. I mean, I'm sorry if that was the case, but I'm pretty sure Illumicrate would have given you a replacement in that case. But, I mean, this is perfect. This is perfect. Anyway, I haven't even gone through all the features. Oh my goodness, it's the trio. It's the trio I love. It's the trio that we all love if we've all read the book, that is. And, oh, this foil foiling is popping. Okay, I'm gonna take this dust jacket off so I can hold it up. Look at that foiling. It is the perfect shade of purple. Oh, this is beautiful and I love the spine as well. Oh, this is giving. Unfortunately, there's no foiling on the back, but this is really giving. I'm loving this. I'm so impressed by this. I'm not sure if Rin Chapeco signed. Yes, Rin Chapeco signed this book. And I'm so happy because I'm a big fan of their work. This is a very beautiful book and I cannot wait to see the sequel that came in this set. And the second book in this series is Court of Wanderers. The first book is gorgeous, but this one is also like really gorgeous. Look at that red. This series gives me all the vampiric vibes that I wanted out of a beautiful special edition set for the series. And once again, the pages are perfect. The alignment is perfect. Illumicrate, you've done an excellent job. And it's signed again, another signed copy. I'm so happy. Look at this beautiful end page art of these characters. It makes me want to read the series again. I really miss these characters. I really loved reading about these characters the first time I did read the first book. Even though the narrative style was really tricky for me to get into, I really loved the characters that we were following. So I honestly cannot wait to reread the first book and continue on with the series. And once again, the foil is popping with the second book as well. Take the dust jacket off. Look at that. Look at that beautiful spine, that beautiful foiling. Gorgeous stuff. Wow, amazing. Look at these beautiful books together. Look at them. Look at those pages together. Look at them right next to each other as well. The foiling, the colors, everything. This set is so perfect. Illumicrate have been doing an excellent job with their special edition sets. Also some of their individual special editions as well. It has been quite difficult for me to find a miss in Illumicrate special editions as of recently. I definitely feel as if they put quality over quantity when it comes to their special editions and I mean that is very evident here. It's very evident with one of the last special editions I had unboxed from them and so many more. <laughs> some of their monthly boxes as well. Like honestly at this point I know to put 
put my faith in a Luma crate when it comes to customization. And last but certainly not least, in this white box right here, I have a Fey Crate Opus set. And if you guys don't happen to know what a Fey Crate Opus set is, pretty much Opus is a division of Fey Crate Special Editions that cater to a more new adult audience. So a lot of the Opus sets consist of dark romance or fantasy romance for new adult readers or monster romance, all that stuff ETC. And um, I've got a monster romance set to unbox today. <laughs> One that I'm really excited about. And yes, the clue was at the very beginning of the video, I did mention that the series is a current favorite series of mine where I've only read two out of the nine books. And if you don't know, let me show you. I'm so excited. It's so heavy, but I cannot wait. I can already see the holographic foiling from this bubble wrap. <laughs> oh my goodness. I honestly need to be careful once this plastic comes off because once it does come off, I might just drop all the books. So right over here, I have this gorgeous set. Oh my goodness, wow. The quality of this box set is beautiful. And I'm not sure if you can see this on camera because the ring light is pretty strong, but um, there are a few characters from a specific series on this box set and I am loving every single one of their images. And the back of the set reveals the series name. Yes, guys, this is the first part of the Duskwalker Bride series by Opal Rain, which consists of a soul to keep, a soul to heal, a soul to touch, and a soul to guide. I am speechless. Oh my goodness, this is a gorgeous box. I need to take these out right now. <gasps> okay, okay. So I brought my trusty letter opener right here just to be safe. <laughs> Because if I used a Stanley knife, then I might scratch the pages. The first book in the series is A Soul to Keep. We have Rhea and Orpheus. Oh my goodness, this is so much shinier than I expected it to be. Rhea and Orpheus look so gorgeous. I love these two characters so much. I still think about these two characters. These characters are my baby. They're my everything. And the pages look really cool. What are those? Are those like bones? Some sort of plant. I don't know. They look really cool and they go very well with this cover. Let's check what's under that. Oh, I love this. Okay, the naked hardback is given. Oh, this is so cool. So if no one wants fan art on their covers, but they want something that kind of goes along with the series aesthetic, they can take the dust jacket off and display this. Like, this is so cool. I love this. I love this so much. My little doe will not be prey for anyone but me. Well, Orpheus. I don't think they'd be mad at that. <laughs> we all love Orpheus in this house. And an Opal Rain signature is in here. It is a physical signature. Oh my goodness, I am living. Wow, okay, this is making me so happy. And the second book in the series is a book I read this year and I absolutely loved and adored. And that, my friends, is A Soul to Heal. And right here, we have Delora and Nameless. And I love them so much. And I love the holographic foiling, but I also love the green hues. I seriously love that each color of each special edition goes along with each color of each standard edition. Edition. In this case, A Soul to Heal. The original book was green. This hardback is green and I love the green. And then we've got some beautiful edges that match that beautiful green cover as well. Um, Yeah, I love these two characters so much. I loved this book so much. I thought I was not gonna love this book because the fandom were like, well, I don't really like this book. No, jokes. Not everyone in the fandom did not like this book. I think it's a very popular opinion to love the first book and think that the first book is the best book and then going into the second book, you're like, ah, oh, well, this book is not as good as the first book. I totally get that because I think A Soul to Keep is my favorite book in the series so far, but A Soul to Heal is definitely one of my favorite books of the year. Like this book is so special to me. I also just noticed that this book is also signed by Opal. I'm so happy that we've got a physical signature here and it's purple. Um, and then the naked hardback. Yes, we've got that green action on here. I love that. I love it so much. The quote on the cover, I will follow you anywhere, my pretty raven. Oh! And there's a little, there's a little teaser here. A little nod to the book. Ah, I'm so old. Okay, yeah, this book is definitely fresh in my mind. So this one is just making me blush so hard. My goodness. I need to move on to book three. Ah, this is the first book in the series. I have not yet read as I'm filming this video, but I cannot wait to read it because I hear great things about this. The third book in the series is A Salt Touch. Oh my goodness. I love how shimmery this one is. I love the colors on this one. I cannot wait to get to know these characters. I hear that this book is really good. I mean, what? else would I expect? This is the Duskwalker Bride series we're talking about here. Yeah, wow. 
oh my goodness I love how they are looking at each other in adoration that is adorable and the pages look really cool as well and they go very well with the front cover yes it's signed get it get it it's signed and the naked hardback once again is given this beautiful foiling and design so cool and let me see the sneak peek quiet my adorably fierce hunter everything will be fine oh oh okay this character's already sounded like a cinnamon roll I cannot wait I am seriously so excited for this third book I have decided that I am waiting on the audiobook maybe the audiobook might be out by the time this video goes up but I am planning to continue on with the series by listening to the audiobooks because the audiobook narration is really good right now I'm holding off because I'm waiting for the audiobook to come out um, and I cannot wait to hear Wolfgang Malikin's voice again as the dusk walker <laughs> last but certainly not least I really do not want the serotonin to end because this is so cool I kind of wish that fake right did all the books together but I also can understand why that would be a logistical nightmare if they did that and the fourth book in the dusk walker bride series is a soul to guide and as much as I've been complimenting all the covers for this set so far I have to say this the color scheme on this cover is probably my favorite I mean the reds and the blues go perfectly with the holographic foiling like it's just a match made in heaven this is heavenly to me oh my goodness this is such a beautifully designed cover I also neglected to mention the quality of these dust jackets I'm pretty sure I've mentioned this in another video or two somewhere previously about the curse of the gods set by fake right the dust jackets in that set have the same texture as the dust jackets in this set and this texture not only feels amazing but for some reason it kind of reassures me that this dust jacket is not gonna break easily it just reassures me that there is some good coating on this dust jacket for some reason I don't know how to describe it it just feels different from a typical paper dust jacket it's laminated in a very nice way it's also shiny but in a positive way not a negative way where like the light is gonna completely bounce off of it the quality in the dust jackets amazing the final book in the set was also signed by Opal I also have to mention how beautiful these pages are and I think out of all of the books in the set the pages look the best on this set I don't know I just really love this floral design personally and let's check the naked hardback out I also love the quality of the naked hardbacks by the way just the way that fake rate do them they have the best quality every time oh my goodness this is my favorite naked hardback as well I haven't even read this book yet and I just know that this book is gonna be a favorite I don't know I think I just love red and blue together and this special edition book is giving me that and then on the back of the book we have another quote and more beautiful foiling and the quote on the back of the book says you are mine my pretty starshine starshine I've never heard that term used before but you know what I'm gonna hear it in this book I'm so excited oh my goodness that's actually so cute this series is so wholesome okay I know a lot of people have been dunking on the covers of this book series I don't know when I go on Twitter and when people talk about monster romance unfortunately people keep on dragging the series in the mud for some reason and I just think man you just need to read it okay this series is one of the most wholesome things I've ever read in my entire life I feel as if the world would be a better place if everyone in the world just knew about the dusk walkers I swear <laughs> now that all of them are in the set and they're unwrapped that's what they look like and I cannot wait to see all nine books on my shelves and you might have also noticed that each of the pictures that are displayed on this side of the set were the cover images of each book and yeah I'm just really happy that I have these babies I cannot wait to read the rest of the series and I am just gonna be a happy little camper for a very long time I feel as if the set gave me a large dosage of serotonin and I don't want the high to drop because this high right now is just very nice <laughs> so I guess that's gonna be it for this video today book lovers if you happen to stay to the end of the video leave me the blue heart emoji and if you happen to enjoy this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet already joined the amazing community of book lovers and also I have social medias Matt G Swizzle books on Twitter and Instagram and I'm also a Goodreads that's www.goodreads.com slash gswizzle and finally I'm at TikTok Matt G Swizzle on TikTok if you want to follow me there for some bookish content I love you book lovers and I will see you later peace <laughs> Flipped it in a double. Mm -hmm. Thought it I would have, and I flipped it in a double.